What is going on everybody? I am at a fire pond with, you guys guessed it, fire pond guy. We're, uh, wow, this is really muddy. We're gonna be fishing chocolate milk today, which is exciting. It's pretty exciting stuff. Oh yeah, we're with Kobe too. Kobe's right there, we're chilling. We're gonna, we got a boat. We have a boat to use. Uh, we're gonna try off the bank at first, just kind of get a feel for what this lake's gonna be like, pond lake. It's a small lake, big pond. We're just gonna get a feel for what it's like before we uh, toss the boat out there. But I wanna say huge thanks to everybody who participated in my tournament that I hosted like two weeks ago. Uh, it was like a Texas tournament, and we I wanted, it was kind of a test tournament to see, you know, if, if I liked it or not take these things off if I if you know if, if you guys liked it and uh, and you guys the feedback was good and so I'm gonna open it up I'm gonna do the big one this is the flares USA fishing brawl this is gonna be nationwide any body of water across the entire United States top five longest fish and this is gonna go for a week so when you see this video it's gonna go for another week um, I don't know the exact dates like I guess May 6th through the, I don't know, I can't do math, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, I don't know. It's a week. I'll put all the information that I'm about to go over down below. I'm gonna host another tournament though, so if, if you guys are gonna fish at all in the next week, you guys can participate to win. I'm not gonna go into too, too in depth in this tournament though yet. I wanna start fishing. I'm excited to go fishing. And once I catch a fish, I'll show you how you guys can compete um, by downloading the iCatch app and submitting your, your fish catches. So I'm gonna get my stuff ready gonna go catch a fish and then I will explain to you guys how you can compete against me and potentially win some cash. Fire pond guy, what are you starting out with? Blue and black chatterbait. Blue and, oh, a blue and black chatter, what, what, what are the odds? What a coincidence. I'm throwing a chatterbait. Real big surprise there, Flair. Yeah, this is, this is really dirty water. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it's straight chocolate milk. We had a ton of rain and whenever there's rain, it usually makes the water dirty. And a good bait for dirty water is a black and blue bladed jig. There's one. There's a fish. How big is he? Is he a brute? Oh, is it? oh he came off. Oh, wow. This is a great start to the day, guys. I lose the first fish. That was probably a three pounder. All right, shake it off. No worries. There's more where that came from. No, I kind of forgot. There's one. That's a good one. That's a good one. First fish. I got one. That's a pretty good one. Here, guy. Woo! There we go. That's a fat son of a gun. All right, let's first fish. Throw her on the old board for the tournament. Snap a picture of him. Looks a little bit something like, maybe you guys can see that. I'm gonna let this guy go though. See you later, George. George is good to go. So that right there is what it's gonna look like after you take the picture. And there's a blue line at the top. You put the top one on the nose and the tail. And then that bottom blue line, you put on eight inches on the ruler and then you hit done. So you can see there, I got it on the nose and then the tail and then at zero and then at eight inches. And then you hit done. You hit accept. There it is, it's done. Fort showing about a little 14 and a half. Hit submit, and that's it. It is fairly freaking simple to do. Uh, it's pretty fun though. You guys can compete against your friends. You guys can create your own tournaments. And uh, just like, like if I wanted to, if I wanted to compete against Fire Pond Guy today, I could. We're gonna put the boat in the water though. Caught one fish. Gonna put the boat in the water and hopefully catch a few more. I'll push you in. Oh, you're saying go in? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what you do. You should get I in thought you were, I you thought he was saying to push off. Yeah, like Boy. Oh, well, we're good. We're uh, we're on the boat though. This is exciting. I like fishing out of these little boats. This is kind of like my boat. This actually might be my boat. So Alec and I are out on the boat. I want to talk just a quick second more about the tournament. Uh, the one that I'm hosting now, first place is $150, second place is $75, third place is $25. For every 50 participants we get, I'm giving away a $10 iTunes or Google Play Store uh, gift card. So if you if you enter the tournament and you submit at least one fish, you'll be entered. Every 50 people is another gift card. The top 15 uh, 
finishers in this in this tournament will be qualified for the second tournament that I'm going to host, and that's going to be a private one that I'll fish against you guys. Um, and then the prizes will be actually even bigger for that one. Couple quick things about the app: the leaderboard automatically closes. So you can submit as many fish catches as you want, and you can also compete in as many tournaments as you want. So you can compete in mine, and iCatch will be hosting some daily big bass tournaments as well. So like you can compete in ten tournaments at one time at one at once at one time at once. You can compete as, as many tournaments as you want at one time. That's pretty much all I've got for this tournament. If you guys have any questions, you can email support at iCatch.com. Otherwise, check the description. I'll have a lot of information uh, there as well. And there's a video on how to submit catches. I probably did a really bad job at showing you guys how to submit catches just because like this whole sunlight and trying to keep a live fish from mo moving and holding the cameras. The whole thing is really difficult to film. Uh, I'll link a video down below on a better way to uh, to actually like measure the fish and submit your catches. But if you text flare to 797979, so 797979, you text flare you can download iCatch and uh, that's that's how you download otherwise just go to the App Store and type in iCatch and that's how you download it hopefully you guys are uh, liking these tournaments I'm really hoping to host a whole bunch of them you got a big one well Ooh. Alex Alec is competing in the tournament and I think he's got me beat right now yeah that one definitely beats mine so he's competing we're all gonna be competing it's gonna be a fun time I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up though and uh, let's get back to fishing I'm gonna stick with the old bladed jig since I already caught one on it let's see if we can catch some more. Alex throwing the same thing. Do a little bit of bladed jig action. This is a pretty, pretty decent condition. It's not great, no wind, but I like the water clarity. The water clarity is really going to help us out in this chatterbait bite. Nice there's one, there's one, there's one. Stay on, baby. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Get up in here. We doubled? Oh, we doubled. I think we found the juice, dude. Check that guy out. Not a, not a giant, but I'll take him. I think we should... Oh, there's one. There's one. Maybe we should just stay right here since there's fish. Is this like four inches or coming towards... He's coming towards... No, he's coming towards me. Okay. Hey, buddy. There you go. That's my third fish for the tournament. Not a bad one. All right. So third about 13 and a half. See you later, buddy. I'm doing big. We're up to 40, 40 some inches total for three fish. That is not too bad. Oh, there's one. Oh, it came off. Oh, dude. Oh, he ate it again. He ate it again. He ate it again. He ate it again, dude. Oh, dude, it came off. Oh, he came off. Okay, something's wrong. Something's wrong. That was a good one, too. Some, something's wrong. Something. I don't know, dude. These fish are not getting hooked. I don't know what the deal is. I'm having bad luck right now. That was a good fish. I got him. Oh gosh, right there. Come on, buddy. Woo! That's number four. That is number four. That's a bigger one. We go 15.11. With that catch, we are up to 57.77 inches. That's good. We need one more to fulfill our limit. And then Alec and I, we're going to go pig hunting, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to go pig hunting? Oh, yeah. All right. I think we're going to have to pick up a jig and find some, find some deep brush or something. But we got four in the box. Four in the box. There's one. Double? Oh, we got double. You didn't know. I fish on the whole time. Oh, I didn't know. You didn't say anything. Oh, that's a squeaker. I'm not even going to measure this guy. I, we got a little guys. Yeah, that guy, he ain't going to help the tournament, but it's still kind of fun to catch. We are killing it. I got to figure out what are we going to do to catch these big girls? I keep saying that after, after every time I catch a fish. What are we going to do to find the big ones? There's one. There's another one. Okay, we obviously just found some juice. This is just definition of juice. If you guys don't know what juice is, this is in fact juice. This is crazy. Absolutely, absolutely crazy. I'm just not even naming these fish. I'm just going hard, catching a bunch of them. Oh, there you go. What? Top water. Dude, he dead. Top, dude, top water cranking. Oh my. Alec just threw his crankbait and it was sitting on top of the surface <laughs> as he caught it. It choked it too, didn't it? That's a good one. There you go. We uh, moved out deep, upgraded a little bit. That's probably 15 and a half or so. Just a little bit of an upgrade. You said we're just trying to call out some of these smaller fish. There's one. We got doubles. We got doubles. Ooh, I got a big one. I think so. Yep, that's a good one. That is a good one. Nice, uh, nice little largemouth there. Alec and I doubled up again. Good work. There's one. That's a better one. 
dude just snuck up on me. I didn't expect that. Go on, guy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? What the Okay, uh, that was uh, that was quite the uh, blooper. The boat flip. Boat flipped him and he came off mid boat flip. How'd you like that one? Was that exciting? He was nice. Is that is that some excitement in the in the boat today? That's a decent one. That's 14 inches or so. All right, Deshawn. See you later, buddy. Nice. 8:01 p.m. Got the old buzz bait on. It's dark as you guys can see. It's because uh. Alec and I have just been chilling, catching small ones. Nothing too impressive. So we're gonna go with the top water, see if we can catch us a mondo. Yep. Oh gosh, yep. Alec got one on a plopper. Oh God, is it a good one? It's gotta be a big one if he ate the plopper. I mean, First top water fish. Oh, all right, I'm seeing, oh, that's a good one, it's a good one. It's not massive, but it's a good one. There we go. The biggest we've caught that's today. definitely the biggest we've caught. Check that, yeah. that's a good one. That's probably close to three. That's first topwater fish, you see? Sun is starting to go down. That is a good one, I gave him the plopper. I'm tossing the buzz bait. I'm thinking that might be the key out, out in the middle of the, uh, he basically caught that out in the middle of nowhere. That might be the key for tonight's success. We'll see, we'll see. What are you naming that one? Oh, uh, this one's name's Ethan. Ethan, see you Shout later. Shout out Ethan. See you later, Ethan. Nice, all right. Let's, uh, let's catch more. There's one. Decent. Buzzbait fish. Woo! Yeah, that's a, there we go. That's your best of the day. That's definitely my my best for the far. Could be your PB, honestly. You think so? You think this? You think this is gonna be my PB? Yeah, PB right there. <laughs> that's a good fish. That is my very first buzzbait fish of the night. Nice little guy. I don't know. He's he's about the same size as those other ones. Little fourteen. 14 inches or so, except they're exploding on top water, which is it's pretty fun, wouldn't you say? Top water fishing is the most fun. Top water fishing is definitely the best. This way, this is why I get so excited this time of year, is because you get to catch these little dudes on on some top water, and hopefully, hopefully some bigger ones. See you later, Chris. We're gonna we're gonna keep on fishing. I am just throwing a black buzz bait. It's my favorite buzz bait of all time. Is a black buzz bait. Let's see if we can catch some more fish. Oh, there's one. Oh. Stay pinned, bucket. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Come on. Oh, it came off. No. I just about threw my pool in the water. That's a big one. There it goes. All right. Let's do that again and not let it come off. Wow. All right. For some reason, I knew that was going to come undone. I don't know why. Maybe I thought I had a good hook set, but I had a gut feeling that fish was going to come off. Put the trailer hook on it? Yep. Trailer hook's on. Hook a brace on a buzzbait. It's not the greatest in the world. That was a four pounder. Biggest one of the day, hands down. It's all right, we'll catch another one. We'll catch a bigger one. Stay positive. There's one, there's one. Plopper fish. Yeah, buddy. Stay pinned, big guy, stay pinned. You know you want to stay pinned. Don't come off. It's not that big, we're good. I'm not, I'm not freaking out, but just stay pinned. I wanna catch this fish. Stay down, stay down. Get in here. There we go. I tossed, tossed on the old white plopper as Alec is throwing the black one. There we go, that's my first plop daddy fish of the night. Charles, see you later buddy. Heck yeah, this is my first time. That was my second cast ever with the white one. I always throw the black one just because I've always had confidence in black, black topwater baits, like buzz baits and stuff. So that's good, that's a good sign. We're still looking for big mama. Well, folks, that is the end of the video. This is the next day. I think it's like a tradition for me to not do an outro when you're supposed to do an outro, which is at the end of the day of fishing, and to do it the next day because you just forgot. But that's what I'm doing here. I'm outside. It is absolutely... Oh, there's a bunny. How's it going, bunny? It is absolutely gorgeous. Where's the sun at? It's absolutely gorgeous out here today. Um, I'm going fishing tonight, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and then I'm going to California for a few days. It's going to be great. Um, I'm going to keep competing in the tournament. Like I said, if you guys want to compete against me, it's not even really about competing against me. I mean, I guess you guys could say you beat Fishing with Flair if you guys end up beating me. But more or less, it is just about having fun and uh, just competing against your friends and that type of stuff. And like I said, there's going to be tournaments. I'm going to do my best. I'm gonna, my goal is to have a tournament 
pretty much going at almost all times. Every weekend, have a new tournament. I'm not. They're not all going to be nationwide ones because I know a lot of you guys are thinking, how are some? How is someone that lives in Nebraska like me? going to compete against someone that lives in Texas or California where they just breed giant fish. And that's true. It's not, it, it just kind of depends. You know, it's not always the most fair thing in the world. So from here on out, most of my tournaments are, are going to be state, statewide or, or maybe regional, like Midwest, Southern, that type of stuff, just to even the playing field a little bit. But I wanted to open up this tournament to everybody so all you guys can have fun this weekend, have a chance at um, winning some gift cards just for participating and then of course having a chance of winning some cash if you guys actually you know come in first second or third place all the information that I went over in today's video is down below and there's a video on how to submit a catch I highly 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 encourage you guys to watch that before you compete because even myself in which you guys maybe don't know I've been working on this app for a very long time I helped help kind of develop this and design it a little bit alongside with iCatch and even I had a difficult time kind of figuring out how to do it right at the beginning and so I watched the video and after that it's it's a breeze so I really do encourage you guys to watch the video down below I didn't make the video I catch made the video and it's a very good video on how to submit your fish catches so if you guys want to compete watch that video uh, text flare to 797979 or just go to the app store and type in iCatch it'll be there you just basically sign up make an account it's super simple compete against your friends like I said you can make your own tournaments so if you you know you and two other buddies are gonna go pond fishing tonight com start up a tournament and uh, that way you guys don't have to be by each other when you're catching fish and uh, you guys can put little wagers on, on the line as well anyways I'm gonna quit talking Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't catch any giant fish tonight. Tonight I should catch a little bit, a little bit bigger fish. But it was a fun time fishing with Fire Pond Guy as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, before I end it, flare gear, this orange hat, new one, shirts, all that stuff. It's all all be all will be linked down below. Really do appreciate when you guys support me. Obviously, most of you guys know that YouTube is not really supporting us anymore um, as far as ad revenue, you know, the whole ad apocalypse. So anytime you guys pick up any gear on the Flare store, it does help me help. It helps fund these trips that I film for you guys to watch and enjoy. Anyways, I'm going to quit talking. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Adios. Oh. Can't use that. <laughs> I didn't know you were... <laughs>